You know, it's great. Yeah, it's the first time, we, first time we're here. That's my brother, Kimberly Boys. And it's a, it's a privilege to be at, in Sydney and come doing the performance about Jandamara. It's big and there's a lot of tunnels in there. It's like a, maybe a one-bed one hugging tunnel, eh? Jandamara is a, a, one of the Bonoba legends in the time. Just go back right back in the uh, 1800s. Bonoba people identify intimately with him and are really proud to be able to tell his story. So it's, it's important to them as much as, as much or even more so than it's important to the country that, that this story is told and honoured. When, when I was first approached out of the blue by Paul Stanhope, who told me he'd been commissioned and wanted to write a cantata and was interested in doing it about the Jandamara story, I said, what's a cantata? <laughs> I'm a non-musical person, um, but having had that explained to me by Paul and we talked through the concept and some ideas and some possibilities, look, we jumped at it, we embraced the thing. And I have to say in this, is, although I am the writer, I, it is not my story. I do not own this script or this libretto. It is owned by a company called Bunaba Cultural Enterprises, which employs me. This belongs to the Bunaba mob. It's dedicated to my mum, Hazel, who was passionate about the Kimberley and about the work that I do up there. But she was also passionate about the Sydney Symphony. That's one of the other beautiful, beautiful things about this project for me. I mean, she played with the symphony, she was a patron, she loved it. But it's also dedicated to two deceased Bunaba elders. Uh, Adam Andrews, who is the man who dreamed the Jumba, which forms a central part of this cantata, and many of his descendants are in the show with us and an old woman called Molly Jalak Beer, Jalak, who composed that beautiful, beautiful Dillery Lament, which forms the basis of the second last song of the cantata. I didn't get a chance to play Jandamara from the, the first couple of theatre play we did. And yeah, it's, it's an honour for, for me to play, to maybe make the Bonobo people happy. I'd like to thank everybody, and, as we, and even the performers from uh, Children Choir, and right down to the uh, orchestra band, and like, we like, to me, I see it like a family, big family, trying to achieve that goal, and and we so far we got it, yeah. What I can see here, it's a lesson that both of us, the European people and Aboriginal people, can learn from this. <laughs> It's a sad story, but we can put that behind. Go forward, sharing this big white brown land between black and white. And we are doing that slowly, right, right here at the Opera House. <laughs>